Killer. Oh, you hear that other game starting? The other game is starting, but we want to see the last kill here. Oh, no! You have to let us know who wins. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out. All right, keep uh, an eye Carfo out. takes it. No! <laughs> we missed it! But you know what? We're not going to miss this game right here. Kirby 509 versus Bill. Remember, if you want to catch that, uh, all the off-air sets like that that we have access to stream are being locally recorded, so they oh. will be uploaded to YouTube. You can catch it on YouTube. Yeah. How about that? Nothing is ever lost. Never. Just delayed. You only really lose if you don't come out. We want you to come out right here every single Wednesday at Xeno Weeklies. Only $15 enter, and you get to play the best of the best in NYC, and maybe the worst of the worst in NYC as well. <laughs> Me. <laughs> so, come on down, beat no tour, feel better about yourself, and then go to Holy Cow for some delicious burgers. Hashtag not sponsored. But we wish that we were. All right. We don't have a perfect situation here for Molomar. We do have a purple Pikmin, a yellow Pikmin, and a red Pikmin. Now, what uh, we have seen, at least uh, yesterday at Waypoint Cafe NYC at Waypoint Warriors, was that Kirby509 really, really fished for the double purple and blue Pikmin. Why? Because the blue is excellent for grabs, has the most knockback, and the purple just does a stupid amount of damage. Also, the Pikmin do come out in a certain order. It is in this order, red, yellow, blue, purple, and white. So keep an eye out for that, folks. Yes. No, sorry. Red, blue, yellow. My apologies. And you will also be noticing a certain other things. Now, Olimar is not one of the better known characters in the game, but uh, that they do have a surprise factor. Kirby 509 coasting on that until everybody catches on. But until then, they're going to be riding this high for, for as long as they can. And a good grab just out of the air. You don't see that every day. Still hanging on for dear life on their first stock. A good parry there from... There we go. Blue Pikmin coming in clutch. Tossing even the heaviest characters out. And they do have the gyro. Learning how to play with it. Kirby509 not doing a very good job yesterday with uh, picking up items, but definitely having learned that this is a necessary skill to have in NYC. They definitely hit the lab today and are showing up. All right, the yellow Pikmin is gone. I mean, sorry, the white Pikmin is gone, but it's all right. The blue is still here as we can fish for a purple. All right. Well, purple and red, can't go wrong with that. Ah, so it's a uh, red... Red, yellow, blue, white, purple. Got it. Thank you, Vinny. I, I just saw the chat. I was trying to like keep up here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. All right, what are we gonna see here? Ah, we have two purples on board now. Now we're gonna be fishing. Oh no! Goodbye, purple Pikmin. We hardly knew ya. But we still got one. Yellow Pikmin gonna do some damage until sacrificing their life. It's alright, we got more where that came from. Dill, absolutely cruel in their deaths of Pikmin. Really, Purple Pikmin is the one that can really challenge Rob here. Unless they get a grab or a good back air there, taking Dill the last stock here in first game. Oh no, a spin to win but not winning enough there. Now, if you have noticed, all the fewer Pikmin that Olimar has, the faster the recovery there. So Kirby509 will toss out a few Pikmin when trying to recover faster or just trying to mix up their approach. Also, if you did notice there, Dill did do that neutral air, but the, uh, the whistle there, which is to recall the Pikmin, does have armor on it. So it is a good just get out of jail free card. Now when playing against Olimar, you may notice yourself going from 20% to 66 in about, eh, it's like a, like a few interactions. Why? Those Pikmin rack up damage very fast. They'll stick on you like uh, flies to peanut butter. And Dill just patiently waiting out to get that forward air. 
the white one being the one that does the most damage, about 8% every single hit. And it's like every, no, I'd say like few frames. All right, here we go. Good forward air. Kirby 509 just having to keep this lead for still to approach here. Already at 108. Purple Pikmin coming in clutch and the yellow Pikmin fighting. Fighting for dear life, taking on the robots. The white Pikmin stuck on the gyro. So funny. All right, trying to mix up this approach, land safely, but Dill will not let them. All right, spinning to win. All right, what are they gonna do here? Dill able to get back on safely, but not for long. Kirby 509 does not have any purple Pikmin, so it's not gonna be able to easily kill. They do have a blue, maybe going for the scrap here. Nope, instead just throwing them out. They do have a purple, finally. All right, trying to go for that. Ooh, no, unfortunately the red Pikmin did not have enough range. All right, Dill calling out that roll in. Ooh. All right, what are we gonna see here? This is anybody's game. All right, going, set, resetting at the ledge, destroying the gyro. Well, who's gonna destroy each other first? This is last hit situation for both of them. Dill taking on more percentage. White forward air. White forward air. White forward aerial. That, that doesn't sound right. Whoa. All right. Kirby 509 still living even at the end of the blast zone. Oh, gosh, the neutral air deal just shaking their head, unable to punish that. Oh, and Kirby just barely touching the blast zone and dying. What a what an unserious matchup this is. Rob can just take on so much damage. All right, here we go. Yeah, as we can see there, just a quick little forward air can take out most small players. I mean, this game was, oh, that was just beautiful there. We're just stalled. I mean, really, Kirby 509, it was either I approach and I try and air dodge or I go on high and I get stopped. There was really nothing they can do in that situation. But you know what? Let's see how they readjust here in game two. Dill up one game versus Kirby. Now Kirby, the lone Olimar of NYC now, is having to prove that this character is a terror to behold. Obviously showing up both at Waypoint and at Xeno here and placing so well here in top six. I mean, they are. They've proven to themselves that they are too good for Chicago. Welcome to New York City. Happy to have you. Now, I do want to point out the chat that while this character does take a lot of effort, I would say every character takes a lot of effort to do well here. There are no bad characters, just... Okay, there is Little Mac. There's Mac. There is There's Mac. Kirby. There is Ganondorf. Hey, now. Vin Vinny has shown what Kirby can do. Or maybe I'm just a Not bad much. player. Hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> we believe in Kirby. God's chosen. Oh, no. I swear to God, the, the spike on Olimar's down air is RNG. Is it really? I mean, not with the purple pick. It's pretty it consistent feels there. feels very inconsistent. Ah. It's like, yeah, I hit him with down air. Oh my gosh, the gyro. Do they have enough to make it back? The, the Pikmin aren't tired, but uh, Olimar pretty much just hanging for dear life. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what a good mix up there. Kirby 509's posture has never been better. Sat up a little straight, reset them, themselves mentally, and are just trying to take out Rob, but can't do it. You know what? Second stock knew them. And Lee Schmo. Redeeming good luck player two. We have recently fixed that, folks, so it's no longer good luck player one at 200 and good luck player two at 10. I mean, the reason I believe we did that was because player one is uh, always seated higher than player two. So really, we got to cheer for the underdogs here. The seating arrangements is based on the players. That's it. What? They don't sit based on seed. They are free to sit wherever they want. Aww. Oh, this makes sense, because Dill is seeded higher. But anyway, Kirby 509 proving that seeds don't matter, just like tier lists. At least some would say, as they bring Dill to stock number two. All right, Kirby drunk, trying to throw anything to rack up this damage. Shielding against laser, avoiding the neutral air. 
and starting something big here as they tie up the percentage. Okay. Unfortunately, no Pikmin on Rob. Rob would definitely... Oh my god, they're still alive. What the soccer ball couldn't do, the gyro did. All right, drilling into the ground. All right, that up air, not, probably going to kill with that percentage. But the white Pikmin sacrificing themselves for Kirby 509's life as Dill is just racking up damage. At 102, it's still anybody's game. Anybody's stock. Somebody kill somebody. I came here to see blood, not neutral. Okay, both really just attacking Rob there for percentage. All right, purple Pikmin. Oh, we got two on the board. Just needs one more. They are going to grab a red right after. All right, but they're throwing that away. Trying to get a blue. Oh, and the purple. The range is just so high. Oh, trying to get an up there. Following Dill, but not going to be enough as Dill tries to shimmy out of the way. Dill's going to go so, so far. Er Tech situation? No. Misses. <gasps> no, they didn't have enough gas. Sacrifice their second stock just to bring this to even. Dill in a rare moment, misjudging the use of gas, just like me on my last road trip, stuck in the middle of nowhere, but at least they're stuck only on their last life. They have another opportunity. All right, Purple Pikmin on board. Whoa. All right, Purple and Yellow and Blue. And the yellow sacrifices themselves. Honestly, no Pikmin. Ah, but a white finally catches on. Gets a nice meaty 5%. But Rob just uh, hitting them away. Okay, here we go. Oh, that yellow just hung on for dear life and lived? Oh, not anymore. GG's yellow Pikmin. But Kirby 509 is such a good position to take this as long as they don't get greedy here. Stuff's not the gyro. The nerves of the set are getting to them, as they have um, they have not been able to grab that gyro like they were the first game. Just making miscalculation after miscalculation. Alright, trying to edge guard. Follow them up into the air, the neutral air, stopping them. Oh my gosh! Dill just leaning back, bracing for impact, but they missed! Alright, the laser saving their life once more. Not gonna be able to stay out for long. Oh, the purple pick and connects! Oh my gosh, this is a terrifying situation. Kirby avoids the neutral air. Throwing out everything once more. Purple Pikmin is back. All right, they still have that. They're still saving it. Oh, the purple Pikmin is gone. They could get a grab with the purple, with the blue, and that would kill. All right, now they have another purple cycling out through. Oh my gosh, 111, Dill's gonna go deep. Oh no. All right, that's it. It's death. It's over. Do they have a match? No, they stalled it. Incredible. Taking this to game three. Kirby with the slowest pop up in the world as they go to check with Dill to see what they want to do. Incredible. Watch this. They waited. Most people match for their lives. That man didn't move a muscle. Jumps out and finally gets the down air to close that out at 198. Three, two, one, and we're getting the run go. back here. Yeah, Dill smiling. Dill obviously disappointed in the performance there, but uh, you know what? You can only do but smile is a very close spot game as we're taking this to the final one. All right, Kirby 509 not falling for the bait there. Instead, just getting Pikmin and just not doing a good job of grabbing this gyro. They have been very inconsistent with that. All right, Dill just trying to kill as many Pikmin as possible. The monster. It's truly nature versus technology here. And nature is doing a really good job of fighting back. All right, but Dill grabs. Suplexes them onto the platform. All right, the laser's coming out, and Kirby 509 just 
Ooh, abusing the armor. No, but Dill once more messes up the recovery. Kirby 509 counting their blessings and their Pikmin to make sure that they are indeed all good to go here. But this is even stocks. Dill making some unfortunate mistakes here as they just camp in the air. Just daring Kirby 509 to follow them. But Kirby 509 is very happy to just stay back, camp, and stock up on more Pikmin. There is no need to approach. Rob can and will kill you. And a good roll on. No cash for the gyro. Kirby 509 just instead opting to just throw Pikmin at the problem. If billionaires throw money at problems to solve them, all of our just throws Pikmin. Why put yourself in danger when you can have other people do the dirty work? But two purple Pikmin. All right, what are they going to pull out next? A red, right? They're going to have to cycle through here. All right, the red is not dead. Definitely want to cycle that out as soon as possible. All right, the red is going to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Ooh, they did lose a purple and have a yellow. All right, throwing them out. What do we got? All right. Charging that forward smash for Dear Life that has a lot of range and would have stuffed a dash attack in. Or at least clanked. Okay, here we go. Ooh! Okay, alright. Alright, nice neutral air to get in there. One of Olimar's fastest moves here and a good multi hit. All right, both players trying to figure out what the other one is doing. This is just a really touch-and-go game right now. All right, just hanging on for dear life at the ledge. Throwing more Pikmin at the problem, stuck in this gyro approach. Kirby509 realizing they did not hit the, need to hit the lab last night. They just need to throw Pikmin at the gyro. All right, hoping that Dill's going to mess up once more. No two-frame. All right, and a good air dodge out. Dill! Oh! And good job just reversing that so there is no stage tech situation. Knowing exactly what was going to happen and Kirby 509 not able to reverse the situation. Kirby 509 maybe getting a little desperate here but finally finding the back air, putting Dill at the ledge. And up in the air, Kirby trying to follow but falling for the bait that they didn't fall for on the first stock. And Dill very comfortable with the gyro in hand. Kirby 509 can keep racking up this damage, but it doesn't matter. They can't kill. All right, what are they going to do here? Not even attempting to go off stage, knowing exactly what Dill is capable of. Just like John Numbers, sometimes you just got to choose between life or death at the ledge. And if you challenge, you better be willing to risk it all for the biscuits. All right. Killing the Pikmin, but you know what? That forward air is going to take it. A very even game here. As long as 509 doesn't make any mistakes and gets zero to death here. A good suplex, a forward air. Oh. And unfortunately getting caught in the recovery there up high. Oh my gosh, barely missing the two frame there, but taking the laser to the face. No! And Kirby 509 goes down to Dill. And a fantastic showing there. Dill definitely breathing a sigh of relief as they move on in this bracket. And Dill will be fighting Melly. No. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, looks like Carflow did not actually beat Melly. Melly beat Carflow to face Dill in loser semifinals. Yeah, but Carflow only won that game. Damn. <laughs> I thought they won the set from the way you said it. Oh, nope. well. <laughs> All right. How am I so? We were, okay. Uh... <laughs> But anyway, deal with uh, some unusual SDs here. Just a, ma just a matter of uh, meter mismanagement there with the gas. But that's okay. You know what? They have an opportunity to redeem themselves on stream against uh, Melee, the Richter player. Now, Rob 